Hey fellow traders, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about why consolidations are hard to trade. And I'm still going to show you a secret trick to find those levels and how to trade off those levels. Okay, so if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button, make sure you give us a thumbs up because that will help us to, you know, give us some motivation to get these videos created just for you. Okay, so let's get into it. So this week, the market has been very difficult to trade. Okay, because the market has been consolidating. Okay, and uh, probably you're going to find it very frustrating or chances are you would have lost a lot of money if you do not know how to find the key levels. Okay, so in today's video, I'm going to show you how to find the key levels using a live demonstration. Okay, so right now we are at gold. We are at a gold chart, XAU USD, and we are using the trading view platform okay so the first thing that we want to do is that uh, in a consolidation we want to be able to identify the highs and the lows okay because in a consolidation your strategy is to buy low and sell high okay but how low is low and how high is high okay that's the tricky question okay so over here what i've done is i have drawn two lines okay i have drawn this line over here at 1809 and 1814 Okay, so this is the challenge of trading consolidation. If you get the level wrong, uh, you're gonna lose money. So what happens is that if you had, you know, shorted at one eight oh nine, not considering this upper resistance, and you know, you put your stop loss above this swing high point over here, then you would have lost money. Okay, and if you had tra traded this breakout, okay, I know a lot of traders traded this breakout because they say that uh, this market is in the uptrend, and you know. Um, you want to buy with trend. So this is what a lot of traders do. They buy this breakout without considering that this entire zone is a resistance. Okay, so this is why trading is so difficult. Okay, in a consolidating market because there are multiple levels and if you do not take care of the levels, uh, this is how you lose money. Okay, so how do you find these levels? Okay, how do I know that 1809 and 1.814 0.93 are two very strong levels. Here is the trick that I'm going to show you. Okay, in fact, I talked about this a lot of times in uh, my other videos. But I just want to repeat this again because this is how you use it in a consolidating scenario and how you find the best levels to trade. Okay, so all you need to do is you just need to switch to the line chart. Okay, you can see over here. Okay, then what you want to find is you want to find all the uh, major swing points okay so you can see this level over here i actually plotted it here so this is how i get the 1810 level and how i get the 1814 level is actually just switching to the uh, line chart okay just switch it over switch back to the candlestick chart and there you have it that's how you find your resistance okay so how do you find the support okay because remember we are in a uptrend and we are in a consolidation so you want to buy low, you want to sell high, okay? So if let's say you shorted here, you must know where you're going to get out, okay? Because this is a consolidation play. You're not going to hold a trade on and assume that, you know, there's going to be a trend because this is not a trending scenario, okay? So how do you do it? You do the same thing, right? You look at this, okay? Personally, uh, I do not need to use the line chart because I train my eyes to see it, okay? So this is actually the point because you can see over here that this is a candle close, but uh, if you're not so experienced and you cannot see this, as always, switch back to the line chart, okay? You can see that uh, there is one over here actually. So this is the upper um, range of the resistance, okay? You also have a resist resistance level here and you also have a resistance level over here, okay? The lowest resistance level is this zone over here, okay? So this is how you find the levels. Okay, so if you can see, I switch back to the line chart, uh, sorry, to the candlestick charts, you can see that uh, it comes just nice into the support. Okay, so that would have been a brilliant trade if you had just taken a trade here and sell it down. And if you buy it up here, then your target would be over here. So it's a pretty good uh, risk to reward trade. In fact, even if you know you enter the market now and you put your, you know, something like this, Okay, this is not a good setup, but if let's say you call it lower and you put the same target, anything above uh, 1 is to 1.5, I think it's a good trade. But because remember, you're in a consolidating market, don't expect the market to trend. Uh, personally, if I can get a risk to reward of more than 1 is to 1.5, then um, 
I will take the trade. Okay, because that would mean that as long as I'm right 50% of the time, then uh, I will make money. Okay, and in a consolidating phase at the support, it's really kind of like a 50-50 play, right? Because at the support, price either breaks the support or is supported at the support. Okay, but that's contingent on the fact that you find the right levels. Okay, so this is how you find the right levels. Okay, so before I end off this video, I also want to explain to you how to use these levels. Okay, now let me just uh, draw this out for you. Okay, suppose that there are a zone of uh, support. Okay, so let's say this is support level one. Okay, just. Okay, this is the support level one. Okay, and uh, you have another support level two. Okay, so the question is where do you buy? Right, that's always a difficult question. Okay, it requires a lot of judgment. So, what happens is that a lot of times price will come down here. Okay, come down into this zone and traders like to you know buy off the support here and that is fine. Okay, that's how most people trade. You just buy off this support. But personally, I don't like to buy off this support because what happens is that if this was support and this is broken, it comes down deeper into the zone, right? Then this is going to act as resistance. So what is going to happen is that price might do this. Okay, it might do this just bounce within the two levels before deciding to break up, okay? So I do not like to just buy in this zone and then see the market go up, go down, go up, go down and see my profits from being green to red, green to red, green to red, okay? That's not what I like to do, okay? So my secret way to trade these levels of support would be let price come into the zone, right? Let price trade within, within the zone first, right? So this is a zone and let price break out of the zone first, okay? Then you take the trade. So in this case, you wait for price to break above this level, then you do the buy trade, and then you sort, set your stop loss uh, below the support, okay? So that's uh, a quick tip for you. So in this case, uh, you can see over here that uh, price didn't really penetrate the uh, depth of uh, this entire support zone, okay? So in this case, uh, I would have entered somewhere here, okay? I will enter somewhere here and if I want to be conservative, I will put my stop loss uh, below here, okay? But of course, if you want a tighter stop loss, uh, you can always just put it, uh, tighten the stop so that you get a better, uh, you know, risk to reward ratio, okay? So it's the same thing for the above, okay? I would have entered somewhere on this candle. You can see over here, let me just uh, zoom in. You can see over here that uh, the market penetrated, uh, let me just correct it. Uh, penetrated this zone here, close above, okay, but it failed to close above this. So it's kind of like this example that I mentioned, except that is the opposite. It's uh, it's like this, okay. Let me just uh draw this clearly for you, okay. So in this scenario, um, for go, what happened was that uh, price has a multiple resistance level, okay, multiple resistance level, and instead of the first resistance level holding, the second resistance level was the one holding. So it came up, okay, it traded something like this, okay, and uh, some people, what they do, did was they buy at this level, not considering the fact that uh, this entire zone is a resistance, okay, and then they get stop out because uh, this whole zone is a resistance. Okay, remember that support and resistance is always a zone. It's never a singular, singular level. Okay, so in this case, go, it did something like this, right? And finally, when it decided to break down, okay, there was the entry. Okay, I would have entered somewhere around here. Okay, when price has uh, broken out of the region of resistance. Okay, so let me show you in the charts. So in this case, it would have been here, somewhere here. Okay, price broke above, then price broke below. Okay, price did one more nasty thing. It broke above again, making it real confusing for a lot of traders, right? Uh, if you short, you'll probably be a bit, you know, it's very difficult psychologically because you see that um, this level is broken, but this level is broken again. So if you have put your stop loss above the recent high, which is what I suggested, right? If you put your stop loss, uh, okay, you put your stop loss below, above or below the uh, furthest support and resistance zone, okay? So in this case, you will have put your stop loss above this swing high, and uh, in this case, you would have been safe, okay? So your trade would have looked something like uh, this, okay? Assuming that you enter on this candle close, you enter here, and uh, you put somewhere above like that, 
and uh, you target your take profit to be uh, the recent low, okay? Uh, not too good, the risk reward is not too good, okay? Uh, personally, I wouldn't have taken this trade uh, with this kind of risk to reward. Maybe I would have just played with it a bit tighter, something like this, okay? But then again, the reward is still not too good, okay? But this is just to demonstrate to you how do you actually uh, find uh, the key levels in the consolidation, okay? How do you trade them, okay? And the secret to, um, you know, triggering, I call it triggering into the trade, right? Because you do not know which of these uh, levels will fall. So you want to have a form of a price action trigger to tell you that it's the right time to enter the market, okay? So that's it for this video. This is a very short video, okay? Uh, I do have a free day trading guide that I've prepared for you also. So I'll leave the link in the description. So if you, you have not downloaded that, Okay, uh, you can go download it. Okay, uh, previously our website was down, but we fixed it. So right now you should be able to get a free copy of it uh, just by providing your email. Okay, it will be sent directly to your email. Okay, if not, if you have any questions, just leave a comment down below. I'll do my best to address it. If you have any other issues or questions that you want to ask about trading, about Forex, just feel free to email us or leave a comment below and we'll do our best to create more content like this to help you become a better trader. Okay, so that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next video.